Then we're going to go to the other side. Skip one block away from this stone block. Add to these uh, stone blocks like that. And we're going to connect the inner part all the way up together with the other side. So just go all the way across. Like so. The outer part's going to be a little bit different. You'll see later. Other side, same thing. Connect them together. It's all one big piece. Alright. So, for the next step, let's add a stone slab. Do I have it? I don't have it, so let me grab it. So, add these two stone slabs at the edge, like that. Same thing in the front. And then we're going to add two stone blocks at the edge behind it. And we're going to connect like that inner part again to the other side. And add in those two uh, stone slabs <laughs> or stone blocks like that to the other side. Like that right behind that uh, stone slab just go all the way across and for our next step we're going to make sure um, this area is five blocks long so one two three four five and then we'd go up like this and make it two blocks tall add another five so one two three four five and same thing on the other side. And over here as well, make this five. So one, two, three, four, five. And a two by five right behind it. Two, three, four, five, two by five. And then we're gonna connect uh, the middle parts together. So fill in the inner part this wall all the way to the other side don't fill in the outer part yet because that I made a little like hole inside I think which we're gonna add in all the way here all right so for our next step after this five we're gonna add um, another two stone blocks diagonally up like that and then we'd connect them together I think they yeah this whole area should be solid like that and the same thing on the other side just connect them together So after we're done with that, um, now we can uh, figure out how we're going to do this. So right in this front area, we're going to add four more stone blocks over here. So one, two, three, four, and just add it to all of them. One, two, three, four. In the back, I think it's the same thing as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and maybe it's not okay. So apparently this side it's a little bit longer, so we're gonna add five to it. So um, after we do that, we're gonna take a dark oak wooden button, add it to the inner part um, stone block, skip a block, add another one behind it. Same thing over here. And go to the front, do the same thing. Here as well. And sorry if you hear a vacuum cleaner in the background. So next step, we're going to add cops on the wall. Um, skip a block, add another one. And keep on doing that till we reach the other side. Just a bunch of cops on walls. It's kind of piping. Other side, same thing. And 
after we do that, we're going to take out um, Dark Oakwood fence gates and add two of them in between uh, these first three cobblestone walls. Same thing on the other side, and then it's going to like sort of like go upwards a bit. You'll see it goes one block taller like that. So let me see. This is going to be the ladder right over here. So in the front, let me add that ladder right now. So it's going to be right above the second cobblestone wall like that. Just add two ladders. The other side, let's see if it adds a ladder. Yes, it does. Right above the second co cobblestone wall. And in the back, we're going to like delete these two stone blocks. We don't need that anymore. Other side. Uh, skip one block away from that ladder and then delete these two. Then we're going to fill in the rest of these inside with uh, cobblestone wall. Make it two blocks tall. Like this, same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add dark oakwood fence gates in between each of them. So take that, add it in between, like so. And for this area, what did I do? Alright, so this area in the back, we're going to move that up by one. So that was a mistake. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Same thing on the other side. Next thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to add, fill in this layer right here with stone block all the way across. Other side, same thing. And then let's fill in uh, this middle area with stone as well. Same thing on the other side. Looks like I already did that though. I just missed those two in the front. So next, we're gonna take. Um, we need to add in like this little thing right here. A little structure support. So we're gonna go line that up with like the quartz block. And basically, it's like three blocks wide um, stone brick slab. So line that up. Right here, it's an upper slab with upside down stone bricks um, stairs at the sides. Then we're going to add three stone blocks in the middle. Go down, we add two, like so. Uh, take cobblestone wall and add, I think, is it three or two? Let me check. So, yeah, okay, so it's two cobblestone walls right behind it. And we're going to add stone buttons right over here. Okay, so let's do the same thing on the other side. But for this one, we're going to have it one block in front of this quartz. So go right over here. Add three blocks wide. Stone brick slabs. Stone brick stairs. Upside down at the edges. Three stones in the middle. Go diagonally. Add two more. And then two more cobblestone walls. And then we're going to add stone buttons right here in the middle area. All right, so next step we're going to do, all right, next step we're going to take three stone brick slabs, add it in the middle of this slope right here. Same thing on this part. Just in the middle. And then we're going to have iron bars on the outside part and wrap it around all the way in the front like that and we're going to connect like this diagonally together same thing on the other side just before that ladder we're going to have that gap and then we actually need to like move this stone brick slab one block back so like delete these stone blocks push that stone brick slab like that and then we're going to take iron bars at a row of four right after the ladder 
right and then we're gonna go um, diagonally up towards the side like this and sort of like make an L shape same thing over here and then we want to make another L shape so it wraps further around So like that, you can imagine it's like an M. All right, next we're gonna add an upside down stone brick stairs right above that stone block. And then add five blocks, or not five blocks, just add stone brick slab all the way across. Like that, add a stone brick stairs at the edge. And right behind it, we're gonna add two stone, um, stone brick slabs like that like that on the inner part then we're going to move on to the side over here and add 11 iron shop doors um, starting from this corner right here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 same thing on the other side all the way to the corner and then we're going to take iron bars and extend it all the way to the edge of that. So, um, yeah, we're like leaving <laughs> the back part open up so that there is a ladder that goes up and down. Alright, cool. So, we're going to go, um, we also need to add stone um, blocks in the middle. So how are we going to do that? I don't know. Let's add a 2x2 two two wall um, as long as the iron trap door. Like that. That's what we're doing for now. Just add it right on the inner part. Alright, and then we need like sort of like this grid of cobblestone walls like a little pyramid and um, let's start from the back so let's add four um, cobblestone walls with a block space in between and next layer we're going to add it so it's just like a checkerboard pattern so three blocks of stone or cobblestone walls same thing on the other side And then we're going to fill in the space in between with stone uh, blocks like so. All the way to that front area where that stone is already there. Alright. And the back section, I guess we'll fill that in as well. It's the 2x2. Two two. And uh, right over here. We're gonna add in. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Functions. And right over here, we're gonna add polished insight with a stone brick stairs facing outwards, and it should be the same level as that um, stone brick slab that we put in earlier. And right above that, let's add a row of three stone blocks like that. Alright, so let's move on to the next level. Then we're going to go to where this cobblestone wall is <clears throat> on the bottom level. Go right above it. Add a stone brick slab like that. Same thing on the back side. And on the other side as well. Then for this side, we're going to add a uh, backwards cobstone or not cobstones <laughs> stone brick stairs with a stone block in the front of that and then we're going to have two more uh, stone brick stairs and they're going to face each other behind that and just make a two by two with that and behind that we're going to have an upside down stone brick stairs facing the back like so and then we'll have two more um, back to back 
or not back to back facing each other. Um, stone brick stairs. And then a stone brick slab at the back. So it looks like that. So that's the base of the pyramid. And then we're going to add stone brick slab right above the stairs right over here. And that stairs in the back. Alright, next we're going to add stone, like a 2 by 3 in the middle of stone. Other side, same thing. Then we're going to add uh, two stone brick slabs at the very tip. So now we have our pyramid and we can add a stone button right near the tip. Alright, then there's going to be uh, these steps that go along the back side of this. So let's add two iron bars right here, another one, and another one, so that there's four. And yeah. So, next step we're going to do, um, let's add in, I guess, like this deck area. So we're going to take iron uh, bar, or iron trap door, I mean. Go to where the stone is, add it right there, and then we're going to extend this iron trap door all the way so it's one block past that iron trap door at the bottom. And we can fill that in. Other side, same thing. And then I guess after that, we'll add some more iron bars. Then we're going to take iron bars and wrap it around the edges all the way around this uh, iron trap door. Then we're going to add carpet later on. Uh, you can't really add carpet on the bottom level of iron trap doors because then you can't actually walk in there. So do the other side. So just like do the top level with uh, the light gray carpets, which I'm going to show you later. Very shortly after we fill this in. So take our um, light gray carpet, add it right above the trap doors, all the way to the edge. Same thing on the other side, just to make it more grayer and darker. All right, so next, we're gonna have a stone block. All right, next we're gonna add a two by two stone block right here with two um, stone brick slabs right behind it. And behind that, there is another two by two stone block, but it's like vertical, just like a pillar of support. And we're gonna add um, stone brick stairs right there upside down with a cobblestone wall underneath same thing over here and then we're gonna add um, you know what let's go to the back and add some more things so we're gonna add a two by what is this two by four right in the inner walls so one two three four same thing on the other side one two Four, make two blocks tall and right after that we're going to fill in the middle part connect it together and we're going to take um, iron trap doors add three blocks on each side like so and then we're going to add cobblestone wall right here add two stones another cobblestone wall two stones cobblestone wall again and then two stones and then a cobblestone wall. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so that there should be approximately four of these cobblestone walls. And then in the spaces in between where like the stone blocks are, just add uh, another layer of stone on top, like so. And where <laughs> the gaps in between. The stone we're gonna add upside down stone brick stairs. Like so, same thing on the other side. Definitely by now it's probably over 30 minutes. That's how I'm thinking. Or maybe if I cut out all the bloopers, maybe it might be less than that, but definitely the tutorial is longer than 30 minutes in total. 
All right, so anyways, for the rest of this area, um, there's also like a little box down under here. So for this box, let's add it. Go to right where we made this wall, make it two blocks lower, add some more stone. And we're gonna make it eight blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wrap it around the other side and fill in the rest. And make it go all the way to the top, like so. As for the bottom, we're gonna fill that in with stone. And the top of it, we're gonna fill that in with stone as well. And the rest of this area, fill that in with stone as well. So now it's like a flat surface. All right, so once we have like that little box right there, we need to add in like this pillar that goes down, it's like a ladder. So let's do that right here. Does it go all the way over here? I don't know. Apparently it does. So add in this stone um, pillar that goes all the way down. And then we're going to skip one at the bottom. Add these three ladders. Then we're going to add three iron jack doors. Like that underneath. Three blocks wide. Same thing over here. And then we'll take a stone brick slab at a 2x2, two two, right in that nook. Same thing over here. And another 2x2 two two, it looks like, right here. Alright, cool. Once we do that, uh, we can go ahead and redo this pattern um, all the way towards the rest of it. So. Let's add uh, two stone blocks, cobblestone wall, two by two of stone, cobblestone wall at the bottom, two by two of stone, and right above the cobblestone walls, we're going to add stone brick stairs upside down and do the same thing on the other side. Add two stones, cobblestone wall, two by two, stone, cobblestone wall, two by two of stone. And the stairs right above the cobblestone wall. And then we're going to fill in all this area. Um, you can see it's kind of make like a square shape. So let's just fill in all that area in with uh, stone blocks. And then we need to add a bit of stuff on the bottom of it before we reach the top. I don't want to forget any details. So go down here. Right behind this first layer, there's going to be like a second layer. Just add a stone all the way across. Like that. Same thing on the other side. And what are we going to do next? Let's add in uh, iron bars right around this, um, what do you call it, the iron trap doors. So it just goes around the edges of it, like so, and yeah, it should wrap around like that. Same thing on the other side, and then we're going to add in the ladder, which is going to be the fence gates. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So now let's add in the ladder. I know it kind of doesn't make sense since it's like a wall in the way. So then we're going to add three oak fence gates underneath, lined up on top of each other. I have two of them face towards above and another one face towards the back. Same thing on the other side.
and make sure we're doing this right. We want to make them stacked on top of each other. I thought it wasn't, but it is actually stacked. Okay, so then we're also going to add in this ladder right here. Open up that fence gate. There's a fen two fence gates underneath this one. Face it towards the back. And another fence gate diagonally towards the back and open at, up towards the front. So it's like three fence gates. And how are we going to do this? Come on. Place it down. I don't know why it's not placing it down. And another one diagonally. I'm guessing that opens up like that. These two open up towards the back. And this one towards the front. So it looks like that. So then we're going to add a stone button right there on that stone. Like right above where that fence gate is. And there is another stone button right here over here um, I guess it's like right above where the last wheel of the second bogey is there just that stone block or stone button I mean can't really see it but uh, just a little bit of detail we're also gonna add some more buttons right over here where these like two by two stone blocks are and we're gonna have them facing the front so add it right here just on every 2x2 two two stone block. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Alright, so next step. We're going to add in, um, <laughs> I guess, the tracks right over here. So let's take um, just minecart tracks. And just go like all the way across to where like it can go all the way actually right there to that iron bar and I just fell <laughs> same thing on the other side and I'm gonna add in some like carts and stuff so if you want to make the cart with shell on it this is what it looks like and if you want to make um, the one with the, like the cleaning thing <laughs> This is what it looks like, so to make the cart, we're going to have to delete some tracks. And let's have an upside down um, stone brick slab like that. And another one with an a upper stone brick slab in between. And right at the edge, on both sides, we could add uh, stone brick slabs like that. So this is basically cart and we're also going to place a dark oak wood fence gate open that up towards the back so these are like the handlebars for the cart and let's add double another brick slab here and then three light gray walls with a stone slab uh, right at the tip so that's basically it for the munition and for the other cart uh, let's make it right over here Basically, oh, whoa, I did not mean to do that. Basically, you want to, like, punch out these, like, five tracks and then add in the cart. Same exact design. Is that even five? That's not even five. And add in stone brick slabs in between. So it's five blocks. And then we're going to have, um, I think it's four. Yeah, it's four these quartz blocks and the back of that we're going to have polished andesite with a dark oak wood fence gates and I'm losing my voice since it's been such a long tutorial and you can place that anywhere you want on the tracks. Alright next we're going to go to the back right over here where this colorful wall is add iron bars all the way across towards the front and we're going to have this on the perimeter just so you don't fall off the edge same thing on the other side and we also need to add in some railings in the middle area as well which we're going to get into that you can see it does pass in the hole where the ladder is and add in um, iron bars right over here right above where the iron trap door is and does it extend past? no it doesn't 
All right, so we're going to go down here where the box is and add in um, iron, yeah, iron bars. Wrap that all around the edge of it like this. I'm going to have iron trap doors underneath it. Why can't I place it there? Okay, so now add in our iron trap doors. Just place it underneath where you can, where the iron bars are. And ideally you could walk in this, but um, you know, it's Minecraft, so you can't really do that all the time, unless you're building in a gigantic scale. Uh, but I have no idea what's in this little like shed area anyways. All right, so once we're done with that, we can go ahead and move on to the actual gun itself. So, let's see, let's go right where the pyramid is. See like this hole right here? Add a three by three, like that, on sides. Same thing over here, three by three. And I guess you could fill in like this bottom area as well. And you know what, <laughs> fill in the top area so it's like a donut. So that's where the shell's gonna fire out of. And then we're going to like poke a hole on this side, just on this side, upside down stone brick stairs. Then we're going to have uh, two uh, stone blocks right here. Make like that plus sign shape, just leave like the middle alone. And then we're going to have these two uh, stone brick stairs right there at the corners. Same thing on the bottom. And then we're going to have uh, three blocks, so I guess like a three by three. Just leave like the middle so it's like a donut. Like that. And for the next layer, it's four blocks long, so one, two, three, four. Just make like that same uh, plus sign shape. But the corners are going to have stairs in it, so add in our stairs, like so. It's going to be a little bit tricky since I already placed blocks here, so try to do it in the best way you can. Alright, maybe you have to like destroy this block temporarily so you can place it down, but put it back later. Same thing on the other side. Put a stone block. All right, cool, now we have like that giant hole. <laughs> All right, so um, let's work a bit um, over here. So next we're gonna add a stone brick slab right here in the middle and add a lever right in front of it facing towards the slab. And along the sides we're gonna have skeleton skull. You can face them towards the back like that. And let's add a stone, stone brick slab and then a stone slab on the outer part. Then we're gonna add stone block in the middle of that and three cobblestone of walls in the middle. One, two, three. A stone brick slab after it. Fill in the rest of stone brick slabs along the sides. And we're gonna add in three more stone brick slabs so it reaches the edge. So the top layer, we're going to add five white concrete. So one, two, three, four, five sides, five concrete as well. But the bottom is going to be quartz slabs. So add in our quartz slabs. And also the sides on top, quartz slabs, all the way across. So next, we're going to have these two. Um, it's just basically the same dimensions. We're just going to make it stone. So two more. And just replace the rest with uh, stone brick slabs. And next we're going to have stone in the middle this time. And we want to make it so it is 12 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with a white concrete. And then we're going to add um, 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks of stone. 
you can see it's quite long and then right above on this section we're going to make it a uh, stone brick slab on top till we reach before that white concrete and we're going to add three cobblestone walls right here just to smoothen the transition a little bit and let's go to the back of the gun add in the loading area so this is going to be so let's add a stone block right here fill that in and add three blocks wide uh, stone brick stairs like that then take our polished anisite and add six one two three four five six and make it three blocks wide and then we'll need to make this contraption in the back so this is going to be uh, three stairs with a gap space in between in the middle one two three add cobblestone walls in between these two spaces and the back there's two polished andesite blocks and a stone brick slab right at the back and then we're going to skip a block and add stone brick slab all the way to where like that bed is <laughs> which I mean by this and then a stone brick uh, stairs right there facing the front and then this is where you could load in some more ammunition so just make like this shell again over here another brick slab three light gray uh, wool blocks and then a stone slab so you can add that and for the last detail we're gonna go to the front place a ladder right on this upside down stone brick stairs so I knew I was gonna forget something when I was building this and it turned out to be this thing so we're going to go ahead behind this piston on the side, add an upside down stone brick stairs with a stone brick slab underneath. And we're going to have that on the inner part as well, right behind the piston. And we're going to do the same thing in the back as well. Go to the back, add it, and now we should be done once we do all do all this. like so so I'm going to take iron bars and go between these two decks and add iron bars and skip a block of space in between and add another one and this is really hard to do so next we're going to take iron bars and go between these two decks on the side add iron bar in between and just place it like every other block and it's kind of difficult to do since it has a very small hitbox. So you're going to be left with five of them. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And I'm just destroying this since it's so tiny. Maybe if I go on the inside it'll be easier. I don't know. It's two, three, four, and then five. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Strowart Gustav Railway Gun in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for uh, actually completing this tutorial. Congratulations if you managed to make it towards the end. I bet like not many people would do this because it's such a large tutorial. Anyways guys, if you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And thanks to everyone who uh, liked the 300 likes uh, to make this video possible. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.